Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the day we are back in City Skylines. I think this is episode 17. Uh, hello, is this episode 17? Yes, Jelly, it's episode 17. Okay, it's episode uh, 17, guys. Now, first of all, it's been like two weeks since I recorded City Skylines. It's been about 10 days since I uploaded City Skylines. I did not forget about it, guys. I'm still alive. The save game is still here. Nothing happened. I just, you know, I, I don't want to say I got bored of it. But I didn't really find the time to record a two hour long episode. Or, well, two hour long. A two hour long City Skylands recording makes it usually around a one hour long video. So, I didn't really have the time to make a long City Skylands video. And I hate having short City Skylands video because nothing really happens in like 10 minutes in this game. So, that's why I want to make these videos long. And I didn't really find the time for that. So, that's why I kind of like kept pushing it back and back. And seriously, guys, I saw all the comments. I'm very sorry for like uploading this late. I saw all the comments, guys. You guys are spamming on every single video I uploaded that wasn't City Skylines. You guys were like, Jelly, why the fuck is it you abandoned us? No. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. We're gonna we're gonna try and do this again. We're gonna try and upload at least once or twice a week. That should be great. I'm ready for this. And also, my eyes are a little bit red. Now, you might be thinking weird. Like, Jelly, what have you been doing? What have you been smoking? But no. I'm allergic to, like, something in the air. And I don't know what it is, all right? So, yeah, let's just, let's just get started, guys. In today's episode, I personally want to put my focus onto this little area. This is going to be Antarctica. Is that what it's gonna be? No, it's, it's gonna be Atlantis. This is gonna be Atlantis. Atlantis. So wait, let me just uh, let me just create a region over here, and we're just gonna call this Atlantis because, well, we're working on it from this point. There you go. So currently, there's still water in Atlantis. Atlantis. There you go. What I'm doing is I'm sucking this lake out. Does that make any sense? I'm pretty much sucking the water out with all these water pumping stations. Now, I turned all the other water pumping stations off. We've got some over here and along this line in the industrial area. I turned all of it off. Oh, actually, I didn't turn this one off. Oh, I did. What? It said I didn't. Whatever. And so, basically, the city is drinking and only using this water. Which means in probably one or two episodes, this lake will be empty. Actually, I hope it will be empty before the end of this episode, but I don't think so. But when the water is out of this thing, we can finally start building here and, like, make this into a super cool area. We're gonna put skyscrapers in there. It's gonna be awesome, guys. It's gonna be really cool. But the thing is, if we put skyscrapers in here, they only, like, hang over or they only, like, get over the edge just a little bit. Which I personally think is so cool. It's gonna look amazing. But we just have to wait until the water's gone. It has dropped a little bit already, but it's going very slow. All right, so before we start building on Atlantis, because right now we really can't do anything with that, I want to make sure that around this area, there's actually people living, you know? So I was like, let's extend the highway and build it around. But before we do that, I think it's probably best to just build a little neighborhood. And then when traffic becomes a mess in that neighborhood, we can build a highway around it. So here, I added this little intersection for the airport tons of episodes ago. So now we can actually extend this part and make a little neighborhood. So that's what we're going to do right now. We do have this industrial area over here that I'm going to delete in a, little, in a little bit. Because let's be honest here, we do not listen to me, guys. We do not want industrial close to Atlantis. Let's just get rid of it right now. I don't think this does anything good for the city anyway. I actually think it's, it's like getting rid of oil or something. Let me have a look. Yeah, it's an, it's an, oil, it's an oil mine. Is there still oil down there? Let's have a look, guys. Natural resources. There's no oil there, so yeah, it's, it's kind of kind of pointless if you ask me. And also, I see that um, all the oil here is gone. So let me just put some more in there. This is the oil side. This is the iron side. So we grab our ground resources, a little bit of a brush, and we just brush this area full with oil. I know that doesn't make any sense, but that's just how the game works, guys. There you go. <laughs> now we've got oil and iron again. Isn't that just great? If you don't do this, my city is going to go bankrupt. And this way, I kind of have an unlimited source of oil and iron, which is great. I wish that worked like that in real life. I would start my own, own oil city. I would call it Jelly Buy, and then I'll get really rich because of oil and stuff. <laughs> All right, let's build a little roundabout here. This is going to be like uh, the main road. And I want to I want to have roundabouts on the main road because otherwise it's going to be a mess. There you go. That looks great. I guess, uh, I don't know, man. I don't want to start building roads over Atlantis yet. So I guess we're just going to leave it like this. We need to fix this power line real quick. Come on, buddy. Come on. There you go. Well, I guess we can start building here now. I do feel like we need another intersection or something. I guess for now we could 
we could use this part to make a new intersection. But later on, we're gonna connect this highway to Atlantis. Uh, but we can't do that right now, so let's not let's not bother. All right, guys, there you go. Intersection has been made. It's not the most beautiful one, but like I said, we're gonna delete it soon anyway. There's no reason I should make a nice one and spend my time on that because let's be honest here, guys. Time is real precious. I don't have lots of time. All right, I guess we could put the road down like this. That's kind of cool. I like that. There you go. Nice. And then we can start building the little neighborhood around it. That's great. We gotta give this highway some sound barriers, though. It's not a very busy road, so I guess we could downgrade it a little bit. Give it some sound barriers. Or actually, I don't even think this is downgrading. So that's great. I should have done it before because this little neighborhood here is getting really annoyed of the sound. Which I completely understand. I'm very, very sorry about that, guys. There you go. Now, this one, this is the exit. This is the entrance. Huh, I guess that's, like, pretty much it, right? Everything has sound barriers. That's amazing. It's gonna be less loud. Look, you don't even hear it. <laughs> you don't even hear it. That's amazing. I love it. Right, so we need, like, a, uh, a road. Actually, I have a road here. <laughs> Let's just start with the pavement roads and, yeah, build this little new neighborhood next to Atlantis, which is not really here yet. We're, we're still working on it. It's in progress, guys. It's in progress, all right? All right, there you go, guys. We have some pavement roads over here. It's gonna look a little bit like the one I have here. I love this neighborhood, by the way. Look at this. Isn't this just amazing? I think it's like the cutest neighborhood in the city. Personally, I, I mean, I, I love it. And you have an amazing view from the rooftop. I mean, look at this terrace over there. They have this awesome view. Man, I wish I had that kind of view in my house. All right, just zigzagging our way through. There you go. Looking very fancy. Well, we gotta, we gotta go back. Actually, can we make a tunnel with this thing? Oh, man, that's just gonna be a dead end. <laughs> oh, this is looking fancy. I like the look of that. Oh, yeah. Woo! That looks cool. This is kind of starting to look like a palm tree, guys. <laughs> All right. I guess this is pretty much it. Right? Look at that. We got our, we got ourselves a little nice neighborhood over here. It's not gonna be any skyscrapers around here. Atlantis is gonna be full of skyscrapers, and this is gonna be like low residential areas. So um, yeah, I hope that makes any sense, guys. What do we name this? We name this we name this pre-Atlantis, alright? And it's gonna be around Atlantis. I think that's a good name for it. And also it's gonna be a very, very modern little neighborhood. It's not necessarily a rich neighborhood, but it's just gonna be modern. Modern houses. Uh pre Oh, I think I just took a screenshot. Atlantis. Yes! Now we're gonna put a lot of trees around here because there's one issue, guys. We have um <laughs> we have an airfield here and they like they like land over here. And I gotta make sure that no one dies. So I'm gonna put a shit ton of trees so nobody builds houses there. All right, where, where are the trees? How do I put them down again? I haven't played this game in two weeks, so I don't know. These are the right trees, guys. Yes, that's a lot better. Just fill up this entire area so you don't really notice the planes. You know what I mean? Even though they fly above you, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, right? Don't, don't think of it too much, guys, please. All right, there you go. We put some trees down. That, I mean, that looks kind of okay. Can I get rid of the brush options on the left? Please. There you go. I guess on this side, we're not gonna build any houses because the, uh, the airfield's right there. But the rest could do, right? Just filling this all up because, yeah, I wanna, I wanna have people moving in now. Actually, before we do that, we need to give this a theme because when people start building, I wanna make sure that it's the uh, future team. Yes. And actually, I was thinking, I have a very high commercial demand, so I could technically put some low residential commercial over here. Let's just do that. The main road is gonna have commercial for the people to, uh, survive, you know? Some little shops and... and Stuff like that. All right, there you go. I finished filling everything up, I think. I didn't miss anything, right? I mean, I missed something over here, but I don't want people to move in here because of the, um, the airfield over here. So I guess, I guess that should be about it. Now, most importantly, water. We, we gotta give people some water, guys. They're not allowed to be thirsty, you know that. If you're thirsty, you will lack of concentration. If you're thirsty too long, you will die. It happens, guys, it happens. There you go. Water lines and now electricity. I guess we have electricity from the windmill over here. It could spread out and then eventually it will reach um, the other zones. So hopefully that will be good enough. Now let's hope people will start moving in. Uh, later on, I'm going to have to add some parks, some schools. But for now, I think this should be fine. And we're going to expand some more because I want to I, I wanna fill up this city, guys. I want to get crazy. All right? I want to get crazy. This little area over here, which is surrounded by highways, I want to fill this up. I mean, I've been, I've been thinking about it and I want to fill it up but with what is the question i'm gonna have a one-way road and we're gonna make the one-way road go from here to there is that gonna work there you go that's the one-way road so this is the main road and now i guess we can build like a little neighborhood around it with possibly low residential areas we have a lot of high residential we've got some high residential here we've got a lot of them over here 
So I guess low residential on this side will do. If we build too much high residential, guys, the uh, the city will become a mess. And we won't be able to handle the traffic anymore. So I don't want that to happen, you know. But I do want to reach a million citizens eventually. And I think we could. I think it's possible. It'll be a lot of work, though. All right, there you go. I put some roads down. I guess it's ready for uh, for people to move in. All we need is some water. We're gonna have to keep an eye out on, like, the wealth of these parts because, obviously, there's no schools yet. There's no ambulance, police headquarters in this little area, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. But we will, okay? We will. We will do such thing. There you go. Filling it all up with some people. Y'all ready to move in, baby? Actually, I'd like to live here, even though it's it might be quite loud because you're surrounded by highways. You're, like, right next to the, uh, the touristic area, which is very, very cool. Literally walking distance. All right, there you go. The commercial zone is starting to develop in our little area over here. People are starting to move in. I think it's time to put some parks down before shit goes crazy. Um, what parks do I put down, though? Sunken City Plaza. I love this one because it's small and very wealthy. All right, while we're at it, let's put one or two parks down over here. There you go. Two parks should be okay for now. Um, elementary schools. I guess on the main road, we could put one, uh, a middle school on the main road. Do we need a university? Uh, I guess we'll have a university in Atlantis. How is Atlantis doing, by the way? Is it getting any deeper here? I think, I think it is, but just very, very slowly. Kind of sucks that it's going so slow, because I really want to see Atlantis develop. Hopefully in this episode, but I guess possibly not gonna happen, but it's okay. It's okay. But our little uh, pre-Atlantis is starting to develop nicely. People are moving in. They are ready for the real Atlantis. When you have enough money uh, and you, like, grew up in pre-Atlantis, you will want to work in Atlantis because Atlantis is going to be the tourism district of the Atlantic Zone, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Kind of making shit up here, to be honest. We should add an airport soon, like uh, Atlantis Airport or something. Not in Atlantis itself, but... On the edge or something. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's put some sound barriers around this highway over here because I want I want people to start moving in and I don't want them complaining because of the noise. So I guess sound barriers is the way to go, right? Oh shit, I think I might have just cut off the electricity from the airport. We need to give it back. There you go. All right, sound barrier this side. Pretty much finished with the sound barriers now. I guess we could do this as well. And this side as well, I guess. I mean, I don't really think they need it, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I don't want people to start complaining. All right, and these guys don't have electricity. Now, how can I solve that, huh? Electricity lines, maybe. It's an option. It's an option. It works, usually. It's kind of cool how our city is developing and becoming something huge. We have 135,000 citizens right now. We're actually losing a little bit. I don't really know why. I guess maybe around here somewhere. I don't think we're losing anything. Oh, there's a little bit of crime in there. Can we put a police station down? Yeah, why don't we just put a police station down in the middle? Maybe gonna be a little bit loud. I really don't know what to do here. Why are we losing citizens? Where are they going? And yeah, where, where are they moving to, I guess? Here it's a little bit loud. I understand. It's okay. It's the harbor. Um, ah, people really don't complain. I really don't know. I guess it'll be fine. I guess it'll be fine. So in the last episode, we created Liberty Island with the Statue of Liberty over here. It's looking fantastic. It's pointing that direction because this is eventually going to be Manhattan. Currently, I don't really have a lot of money to do that. So, yeah, I don't really see a reason why I would expand now. What we could do is... Uh, I don't really know. Let's just start putting the roads down, make it look like Manhattan. I guess we have to start with uh, Broadway. So Broadway is going to go like this. There you go. 20 grand for that. And then the rest is going to be like numbered how they have it in the US, you know. I kind of like it though because you always know where you have to go. Like in Amsterdam or wherever in Europe, city names or street names aren't numbered. So the only way to know where you're going is if you know the city, you know. <laughs> kind of tough. All right, let's uh, start developing New York City here. I'm using a little trick to get uh, straight lines here. I'm adding a road over here, which we're going to delete, delete after. And this way, I can align everything up perfectly, just like that. What do we put in Manhattan, though? Is it just going to be low residential living? Well, I mean, high residential living, of course, not low residential. But I think Manhattan is mainly offices, especially in the middle. I've been there twice, but I still really don't really know what's in the buildings. Usually, it's a mix of everything. Hotels, living, and shopping. It's, it's kind of strange. You don't really see that anywhere else in the world, but I love it though. It's an amazing city. Don't get me wrong here, guys. Don't get me wrong. All right, there you go. All right, we got some straight low. low, low. We, what do we got? We got some straight roads. I guess that'll do. <laughs> it's kind of starting to look like Manhattan a little bit. We need roads like this though. The island is maybe a little bit too small, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm just trying to put my focus on something else for now, and hopefully that um, that will cause Atlantis to be to be a thing soon. 
you know? I just need to get rid of the water. It's gonna freaking take a while, so might as well focus on some other projects while we wait. All right, so we're pretty much at the end of Broadway here. We're just gonna cut it off there. Now, what do we do now? I guess we're, we're gonna build a highway around it, but... It's not gonna be a highway, it's just gonna be a normal road. But it's gonna be a fast road. I need to download a mod that you guys have been uh, telling me to download. The mod is called Traffic Manager. And what it does, it allows you to change the, the speed on roads and like turn traffic lights on and off. I need to download that thing because it sounds pretty cool. Actually, before we do this, I should put a Kwai around it. Where is the Kwai? There you go. This way I will get a little bit more space. I think that will be a good idea. All right, so the shape of the island is obviously not really like Manhattan, but it doesn't really matter, you know? It's not supposed to be real Manhattan. It's gonna be little Manhattan. Just like we have little London, little Dubai, little Amsterdam. Just makes sense to do it this way. And it's actually still gonna be quite huge. <laughs> Broadway over there. I should have done it this way, man. But in real life, it's like this, kind of. I think. Well, if this is 1st Street, and this is like 30th Street, then it works. Alright, let's start building some main roads. How are we gonna do this? I guess we could use some small roads. Um, this one, for example. Yeah, that'll do. So these are gonna be the avenue roads. Now, should have done it the other way around. Th these should have been the small streets. We can still do that, actually. We can just change these. These are the small streets. There you go. And then the avenues are gonna be the big streets. I hope that makes sense. I didn't really think this through when I, uh, when I started this. So, yeah. I hope it's okay, guys. We have a little bit of space in between now. I guess that's nice. Some air. <laughs> doesn't really matter. It doesn't all need to be perfect, guys. But I am gonna make this look awesome, though. Don't worry about that. Alright, so we've got the streets. Uh, we need to build this one. Let's make them all long. Before we actually make them long, we need to build the main road around it. This is a little bit of an issue. Why is this so high? Alright, so there you go. We've got a little bit of a bridge here. I don't want to have a bridge. We should, uh, level the terrain a little bit better. How do I do this? So I'm just gonna level this out, I guess. And we just soften it out over here. There you go. That's that's a lot better. There you go. Hey, that's great. We have the main road around Manhattan. Um, we're gonna have to connect Liberty Island to something, by the way, because it's it's non-accessible right now. What if we do this? Is that working? That works. We can make a little bit of a of a tunnel here. It says slope too steep. Now, this is always an issue in city skylines. It really doesn't make any sense. Obviously, Liberty Island doesn't have a uh, a road connecting to it in real life. But we're gonna have to do this in the game because otherwise, no one can access it. There you go. Finally, we are underwater. Oh shit, not again. We're gonna have to connect the road somewhere. I guess we could do it over there. It's gonna go and connect to the main road. There you go. Great! This is the road to Liberty Island. It's kind of a long way around, <laughs> but it's okay. All right, so let's start with the avenues. Uh, we need a little bit of a fat road for that. So to start off, let's say, let's say we start off here. Maybe here, maybe here. That's a good spot. So this is Broadway. Um, I think in real life, it has an intersection there, doesn't it? I'm not sure. But what we are gonna do, we are just gonna continue the avenue over there. Alright, so I guess this is gonna this is gonna be like it. How do I connect these roads? Manhattan! What do you look like in real life? I need to look you up! Right, I'm just gonna Google this on my phone. Manhattan. Oh, actually, I'm just gonna go on Google Maps. That's probably a better idea. We have been there twice and I still haven't figured it out. How does it go through Broadway? It just goes right through it. That's what creates Times Square, but it's not possible in the game. We can do that. Well, that would be Times Square, but it's really tough. How do we do this in the game, guys? How am I gonna... I, I really don't know. It's a slope too steep? Fucking kidding me? I guess. Maybe we could delete this. And, uh... Hmm. <laughs> yeah. What now? This is like a massive intersection over here. I have an idea. Oh, no, that doesn't work. What about this? Yeah, we just do it like that, guys. So we move the avenue a little bit. There you go! Alright, it's kind of strange, but... <laughs> I mean, it's not possible in the game, guys. How am I gonna fix that? I guess we could do it like that. Kind of looks ugly, but it's cool. We're not gonna have too many avenues, though. All right, here's gonna be another one. Oh, that one just works. That one just worked like that. I guess it's kind of cool. It kind of works. I'm just gonna leave it. All our streets connected to the highway? I don't think so. Only some, right? I guess Broadway should be connected to the highway. And maybe some avenues and some streets as well, I guess. All right, all right. Look at that. It actually looks pretty freaking cool. So we have another avenue over there. How much blocks is there in between? 16 blocks in between. Let's count. All right. So we have to build the avenue over here. This is another 16, 16 blocks. All right. We are building the new avenue. Ooh, I think this one's skipping Broadway. I guess we could connect it and then connect it to the main road. 
yeah, that's the end of that avenue. It only makes sense to do it like that because we've had those weird curves in the road, so that's cool. But we do need to upgrade this road, though. Let's connect Broadway to the main road. There you go. All right, I guess we could have one more avenue on this side. Um, let's just pull this one through, connect it to the end of the street. There you go. This one as well. There you go. Um, these ones. These ones are gonna have to connect with, with the road. I have to delete the tunnel over there. But we can... We can put it back. Just like this. That's another street. Yeah, that works perfectly. Look at that. Alright, so we need some more streets. Actually, I put the wrong streets down. Let's, uh, add in some streets. There's two blocks in between every of them. So we're gonna have to follow that path. There you go. Putting some streets down. This is the last one. Um, uh, there you go. All right, now on this side, I really like the look of this, guys. It actually looks awesome. And it seriously reminds me of Manhattan. Isn't that just such a coincidence, Jelly? It reminds you of Manhattan. All right, so let's connect uh, most of the roads. I mean, I don't see a reason why not. It's gonna be... It's gonna be busy, but not super busy here anyway. Actually, the road around it should be a one-way street. I didn't do that, so we have to upgrade it in a bit. But that's a great add-on, I think. That way traffic will flow a lot better. It's like a like a huge roundabout. All right, there you go. Manhattan is finished. We have three avenues. Actually, we, we, should, we should just build a fourth one. Why the heck not? There's space for it, so I guess we start with that, over, with that one over here. All right, there you go, a new avenue. Looking fantastic. Although here it's gonna have to go a little bit to the left because we have to go up more. All right, there you go, we have another avenue. So avenue one, two, three, four. We got Broadway and how many streets do we have? 15-ish, probably. <laughs> It looks amazing. I am absolutely in love with this. Now, um, to finish it off, we're gonna have to connect it to, I don't know, some kind of land with a bridge. Uh, we don't have anything here yet, so maybe from Little London or... This is not Little London anymore. From this island to Manhattan. Doesn't really make sense because Liberty Island is in the way of it, but we're gonna have to do it like that, guys. Um... Also, where are our little piers? Because I can I can add some awesome piers on this side of the this side of the island. Oh, here they are. Look at this. I just add a shit ton of piers. Because that's what that's what it has in real life, right? Look at that. Isn't that pretty cool? <laughs> I think it has most of the piers on this side of the island, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I think we flipped it anyway. Alright, so currently there's no um what? Like, buildings on here, there's no water, there's no electricity. We're gonna have to add all that, but before we do that, let's actually change this to a one-way road before I forget to, because this is actually important. There you go, working on the one-way road. It actually makes it look a lot better as well, I think. Now, <laughs> How do we get people to move in here? This is a real task, guys. This is a real task. I guess we could start building Brooklyn over here. We have a mountain in here as well, but we could technically get rid of the, get rid of the mountain, but I don't want to because you have an awesome view from this mountain. And it's the second lowest mountain we have because I think that's the highest, then this one, and then that one. Actually, no, that one's even higher. Holy shit, I didn't even notice this one. This one's huge. It's amazing, though. All right, so moving on. Uh, we got Manhattan. Uh, still, you know, still need to work on that a little bit before anything, but... Let's see how Atlantis is doing. How you doing, Atlantis? Uh, still quite high up. <laughs> it takes so long to get rid of this water. Is it even possible? I've done it before, so it is possible, but it's, it just takes a while. Pre-Atlantis is doing pretty good over here. A lot of people moved in. I don't really see a lot of people complaining, which is a good thing. Uh, a little bit of crime rate. Crime rate is high. Uh, there's a police station right here, so I guess that's a little bit far away, but I think it should be fine. It's doing all right. We got a little bit of a noise complaint back there. What is that? Oh, that's here next to the forest area. Look how awesome this foria area looks, by the way. I, uh, I made this a while back, and it's very, very cool. Look, these are like forest houses. I should definitely try to expand the forest area because, well, it does give me a lot of traffic, which is kind of an issue, but I think it's doing really well. It has 3,800 workers here, and... What else? Can we see how well the area is doing? I wish you could see how, like, much money you're making from the forest. I can look at economy, I can see that I'm getting, uh, 34,000 per week income on industrial. It's not a lot, actually, considering high residential gives me 115,000. And housing gives me even more. I guess it's because we don't have a lot of industrial. But we could if we really wanted to. You know what, let's build this into like a forest area. This area. So why not? We just need to put some trees down, that's it. It's good for the environment. Uh, it looks cool, I think. And we need more industrial income, so I don't really see a reason why not to. Although this road is going to become very busy, which is kind of a shame. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll have to see how, how it goes. Let's connect these two roads. There you go. Now I guess we could start building the forest area. That's it. Should we do the gravel roads? Supports low traffic. 
No, we should we should do it with these roads. Two lane plain street without sidewalks. Or a street road. Yeah, let's just do that. A normal road with trees. That's great. There you go. We have two huge roads with uh, trees in the middle of it. And from there on, we expand with small roads. That is going to be forest industrial. There you go. I put some roads down. Not the prettiest, but I do think it will uh, look cool when it's all filled up with the uh, forest residential zone. Let's look at these trees. All right, I had to remove some power lines because of it. We're gonna make those go around because I don't want to have power lines through my forest. So we're gonna do it like this, I guess. There you go, that's a lot better. Add an industrial area. Now it's not gonna smell here, guys. If anything, it's gonna be nice for the population. I do need to make sure that no trucks drive through here, but I think it'll be nice. It's not loud, it's, I think it's all right. Actually, is it loud? I haven't even checked that. Is it loud? Noise pollution. Oh, it is very loud. Okay, shit. What did I just do? I think it's... It's far enough from the residential area to, uh, to get annoying. But it's good. I want to have a forest here. Alright, so how do we do this again? We need to make a district. This is going to be the forest district. Next to Pre-Atlantis. <laughs> Pre-Atlantis is gonna have some policies, such as... Um, where is it? City planning. Old town, I think, right? Only residents and businesses can use the area for motor vehicles. Ban other motor traffic. So basically, no one's allowed to be here if you have nothing to do here. And then we're also gonna turn on NIMBY, which means no light noise in the night. Alright, that's okay. So, Alton Square. Uh, this is gonna be foresty. Foresty, that's what we're gonna call it. We're gonna give it a theme. It's gonna have the futuristic theme, because I like that. And then, city planning is going to be... Oh, actually, I forgot to put heavy traffic ban on here. Let's do that real quick. Heavy traffic ban as well. I think that's it. This one just needs a theme. Cool. So, we put that down. We just need to make it specialized for forests. Ooh, did we do that? Did we do that? We didn't. Alright, so this is going to be specialized for a forest. Cool! Awesome! It definitely looks like Atlantis is becoming deeper and deeper. Well, it's, it's taking its time, that's for sure. Is there no how, way how we can just get rid of water? Can we just suck it up somewhere? Is there like a button? I don't think so. So that's that's kind of a shame. We're just gonna have to keep on going with that. I guess we can go back to Manhattan and um, finish, finish it up. I don't have that much money, so we have to keep an eye out on that. But for example, we could... We could build a huge road here. Oh, I forgot to upgrade something here. We could build a huge bridge from this fancy area into Manhattan. That works, right? Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And then from here as well, I'm guessing. This one is so expensive to build. Holy shit. All right, 20 grand down the drain. There you go. All right, there you go. So we have this huge bridge here, which technically could be like George Washington Bridge or something. Doesn't really look like it, but it's very long. That's what she said. And this one, Brooklyn Bridge. Even though it doesn't look like it at all. <laughs> Let's put a hospital down somewhere over here over here in uh, Manhattan. There you go. That's a good spot. That's a real good spot. I need to fit that in. Perfect. We need a debt collector, obviously. Where do we put that thing? Over there. Um, a fire station and uh, a police headquarters, this is. Somewhere on the edge, I'm guessing. And a fire station could be over here. Schools! Elementary schools on the edges, because we're gonna have residential zones on the edges, but offices and, um, commercial zones in the middle. I guess we could have one middle school in the middle, maybe? I don't know. Is that a bad spot? That's- that's probably a bad spot. This is all right. Cool, that works! We also need a university, so we're just gonna put that thing down over there. There you go. All right, let's put some zones down. Um, how are we gonna do this? High-density commercial zones are gonna be in the middle, so I guess these two areas? This is all going to be high-density commercial zones. There you go. I'm guessing a little bit around it as well. I- I don't know if that's enough commercial, but I think it almost is. Now we can fill up some blocks with offices. There you go. Just a lot of offices around the rest of the city. And the rest could be high density commercial zones or actually residential, I guess. If this is all offices, I actually like the look of this. It looks kind of cool. If that's all offices, the rest could be what? You know what? We're going to get rid of... Wait, wait, wait. What am I doing? We're going to get rid of this. This is going to be more, more high density commercial zones, just like that. And then around it is going to be offices. That kind of makes sense. It follows the pattern. Great! Cool! The rest is gonna be high residential. Just like that. Voila! We are done! I like the look of this, man. I like the look. That is so cool. Now, we just need to give it some electricity. How are we gonna do that? A dam? We could build a dam over here somewhere, but there's no... I don't think there's any power. There's there's no, like, streamline, if that makes sense. It also says I don't have enough money, so let's just stop with that. It wouldn't give me a lot of power anyway. Alright, people are starting to move in. I need to hurry up. I need to put some, uh, electricity down. What about advanced wind turbines around the edge of the city? 
it could work, right? Alright, I'm out of money now. I need to loan some money before I go broke. Because I don't want that to happen. Take, take, take. Whew, a lot of money now. Now, let's not spend it all. Let's be a little smart what we got. I actually like the look of this. I like that. A lot of wind turbines around the city. Giving it electricity. Becoming a huge town. I like that. That's cool. Alright, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna spend any more money because if I go broke, something's gonna happen. Like, we're gonna have to end the series if I go broke. That makes sense, right? Because in this game, if you go broke and you can't get yourself out of it, it's game over. So, yeah, that's deep shit. So I'm just gonna let the money roll in. I'm gonna wait for Atlantis to become a thing. Um, Pre-Atlantis is doing great. We have a little a little wind turbine over here. A little area over here that I put down is doing great. I actually don't see anyone complaining. How is the noise pollution over here? I don't think it's too bad. It's a nice neighborhood. It's a very nice neighborhood. I wouldn't mind living here. You're like in the middle of everything. It's kind of cool. Super close to the airport. Super close to the touristic zone. Super close to downtown of this. I really don't know what this is called. I never really named it. It's also like... This is also many districts in the same thing. Actually, this is like a, uh, a clubbing area, which you're also really close to. It's cool. I like it. How is our forest doing? Very bad. No one wants to move into the forest. I understand. It's because there's just not enough, like, attraction to an industrial area right now. So no one's really moving in. But we'll get there. And also, I see this one's complaining. I guess it's the wind turbine. We could move this now. I, I see the city has power. So we could put this one maybe over there. It's a little bit further away from the people. I don't think it should really matter. I really don't know if Atlantis is working because it doesn't look like it's getting any deeper, does it? Actually, it probably is, but the, uh, the, the land around it just becomes green, I think. You can see how deep it is in this if you click on something. Where do I gotta click to make, to see how deep it is? Oh, like this, look. Okay, well, we're halfway there, I guess. Or maybe not at all, because I didn't suck half of it out yet. All right, guys, so we had a little issue. Um, forgot to add water, so I just did that. Uh, <laughs> And I also noticed another issue. I added all these wind turbines, but apparently there's a lot of noise coming from these things. Like, I don't hear them when I go close to them. You don't really hear them because it's just wind. But apparently they make a lot of noise, which to me doesn't really make any sense. But sure, it makes a lot of noise. So there's a lot of noise pollution in the city now thanks to the wind turbines. I'm, go I'm gonna have to move them a little bit further out of the city, I guess. But then we will be out of power, so let's not do that right now. For now, I just want to let this city become huge, and then we'll go from there. Although, this is pretty cool, man. I like this. How is Little Dubai doing? We haven't looked at this one for a long time. Little Dubai is all about the beaches, guys. And look at that. Look at that hotel there. Oh, my goodness. It's actually looking quite all right. Looking pretty good. We've got Little World over here. Now, I put a quai around this part. I haven't put a quai around here yet, so let's just do that before I forget next time. Yeah. Alright, this is Australia. Australia needs a quai. I think it also prevents flooding, in a way. But it gives it a nice edge to the, uh, to the island. So, that's kind of what I want here. There you go. Almost done putting a quai down around Australia. There you go. That looks freaking amazing. Alright, now it's, now it's Africa's turn. Alright, around Morocco. So, Spain and Morocco have a bridge here. Um, I wish it was like that in real life, because in real life, this is like only five kilometers apart, which is kind of cool. And five kilometers in miles, that's like, I don't know, two and a half miles, maybe three miles. All right, this is going to be a little bit of an issue. Italy. Currently put a quai around here. I guess we could only do it on the outer layer to prevent the ocean from flooding uh, this part. Around Portugal, France, Spain. Uh, what is this now? Probably Belgium and Holland, all the way to Germany and... Denmark, but I can't really put something around here. Yeah, this is tricky. I, I don't want to delete Denmark either. Denmark's still there. We're just putting a quai kind of like around the area. All right, guys. Quai in Europe is very strange. It doesn't really work. It doesn't. Let's just do a little bit of a Russia here and Finland and stuff like that. All right, there you go. Put enough quais down for now. I'm like ruining it. I'm like ruining Europe here. It kind of sucks. I don't want that to happen, of course. There's a lot of noise pollution here as well. I'm guessing it has to do with the wind turbines around it. And the airport and, and the port. How much passengers do you serve? Why do I have a harbor here? Like, they don't serve any passengers. I could just delete it. It's it's pointless. Goodbye, harbor. I mean, it looked cool and all, but it was really pointless. And I don't like pointless things. All right, let's put some piers down around the world. Because piers count as parks. And it raises the land value, which is really, really good. Oh, shit. I just ran out of money. I, I wasn't looking at money. Fuck. Um... Please go up, money. Please go up. I do not want to end up broke. Okay, actually, it's going up. That's great. That's great. I gotta put some more piers down around Manhattan, though. 
because I think... Oh yeah, the land value is very bad. It's not good, it's not good. Actually, we need to change the name. Man, hat. People are saying there's not enough goods to sell, I guess because there's no electricity, or I mean, industrial areas around here. We should, we should probably start building an industrial area over here. But preferably behind the mountain, because you don't want to have an industrial area on a mountain, then everyone can seize it. Then everyone can see it, and it's ugly, and it stinks. How is my, my park doing over here? I think it's called Hyde Park, in Little London. Hell yeah, it's looking pretty cool. We've got a huge office zone area over here. Probably the biggest one in the entire map. We have the Palos of London over here with the Spanish flag. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense, guys. Sharktooth is doing pretty amazing. Still very proud of this one. It's like... Probably the most successful neighborhood out here. And this, I don't even, I don't really, I, I don't even want to look at this. Like, I, I really don't like this. Jellywood, with our Jellywood sign, looking pretty great. Hell yeah. We've got another little touristic area over here. Ooh, our little solar panel zone, which is giving us a lot of electricity. Industrial zone, how are our resources doing? Did you eat it all yet? Let's have a look. I ate it all already, are you kidding me? I filled it up in the beginning of the episode, and now it's all, it's all gone again. That's crazy. Look at all the smoke that's coming here. That's that's crazy. That's so bad for the city. But I can't really do anything about it, so we're just gonna have to keep on going with it. Foresty is doing really bad. No one is moving in. I did put this down. Yeah, I did. Come on, guys. Start moving in, please. Atlantis is, um... <laughs> not progressing at all. No, I'd let's just put a little thing down so I know exactly where the border is right now. And then I'm guessing I could just leave the game on for a while and see how it goes from there. So the edge currently is around there. Let's hope it goes down, guys. Let's hope it goes down. I just noticed something. I think that this might be an endless pool of water. Because look, there's a there's a streamline here. That doesn't make any sense. If all the water goes away from this middle point, there will be no water left in the middle, but there is water left in the middle. Now, I think that's because it might be an endless pool of water. How do I fix this, guys? Let me know in the comment section. It is an endless pool of water. There you go. Now it's not anymore. <laughs> God damn it. Why did I not see that earlier? Please. So this is an endless pool. Uh, this is an endless pool. See, now it makes sense. Yes. Finally! I th oh god, I, I sucked. I, I sucked real bad there. I was pretty much sucking up endless water amounts. And now, it'll go down. It's going down so fast! It's going down real fast! Oh my god! See guys, I just figured it out! Atlantis is becoming a thing! Did it, did it just stop going down? It's going back up. What the fuck?! <laughs> well, great. That's just absolutely great. We'll fast forward. We'll fast forward and see how it goes in a little bit. What else can we work on right now? I really want to work on this side of the uh, the water, but I mean, this side's not even finished yet. Why would I? Why would I start building here when this is not finished? Manhattan is looking cool. God damn it, you guys are awesome. But not enough goods to sell. I, I really need to fix that. I really, really need to fix that. As for now, I could put some small industrial areas down over here that will sell goods. I mean, what else should I do, right? All right, let's just do that real quick. Hopefully that'll work. Give it some water and electricity and stuff. But I, I'm scared that no one's actually gonna build there because there's no demand for any industrial zones. Which sucks, because there should be. There's not enough goods. So I guess the, uh, the Brooklyn Bridge is gonna be a industrial bridge. Which I think it was back in the old days. So it only makes sense. It only makes sense. It's the beginning of Manhattan, guys. We'll move the industrial area once this, once this place becomes a huge thing. Broadway is still the coolest road in the world, though. <laughs> but it kind of reminds me more of San Francisco with all these freaking steep hills. Our bridge is doing very well. There's a lot of traffic leaving and entering the city, which I think is a good thing. Uh, in a way, it sucks because I see the traffic is piling up a lot. Holy shit, why is it doing that? I guess everyone wants to go here. We could fix this up because traffic is piling up both ways. We could fix this, and I know a way how. This highway is going to have an extra extension. It goes over there. This road... There's only an exit road. Does this make any sense, guys? So you can only come in this way from there. But what about these people? I don't know. What do I do with these people? This is a really ugly extension, but it doesn't matter for now. We'll, we'll make it nice later. I guess these people could, like, get into a tunnel. Uh, and then what? Can't go through there. I don't have enough money. Great. I forgot. Okay, so I guess these people are just screwed. Screw you guys. Bye. Oh, no, I know. I know what. Hey. That's how you're gonna do your things. All right, that works, right? So, where are those cars going? They're all disappearing. Why? Are they all despawning because they don't know where, to, where nowhere to go anymore? You can go this way, buddy. Actually, no, you can't. There you go. 
Now you can, guys. Now you can. Fix it. Yes! Thank God. They found their way. They found their way, guys. This traffic light needs to be false. There you go. I think I kind of fixed it. Still a little bit of an issue here. At least it's not that stuck on the highway. Okay, I, I messed up again. Why does everyone want to go to New York? Why is that a thing right now? Everyone wants to go to New York. What's wrong with these people? Do you guys love Manhattan that much? Are you guys going to like the commercial zone or something? I really don't know what's up. Look, it's messing up my fucking traffic here, guys. God damn it. I think if I delete this road, the traffic will be fine. But where do these people go then? Oh god, I, I really don't know. I think I just fixed it, kind of. There's still some people stuck. But it's flowing. It's flowing, I think. I really need to get myself some traffic manager uh, mods, because if I if I make this go faster, I think it's sold. Anyway, people are excited for Manhattan, which is a really good thing. Uh, we do have some commercial issues, but uh, we got a, we got a little bit of an industrial zone building up here. It's it's starting to get there, so don't worry about that, guys. Don't worry about that. Plus, we're getting 16k a week, which is uh, really really good. Is everyone moving out of Dubai or something? Why does everyone want to leave? Pre Atlantis is looking fantastic, man. I like the look of this. Oh! Look at our lake! Yes! Well, that was fast. See, I solved the issue now. I didn't know we'd go that fast. Jeez. So, I guess uh, we could almost start building Atlantis. See, if someone told me that um, <laughs> there was an unlimited, unlimited source of water there, then I would have figured out earlier. But I didn't know that existed, man. So, we're putting these down. Because we gotta, like... We gotta dig in, you know? Alright, now we gotta connect these things again. What about electricity? Oh, no, they are out of electricity. Okay, there you go, only this one, only this one. So, the uh, lake is almost empty, as you can see, it goes freaking fast. Oh my god, I think it's about to happen, guys. I literally think it's about to happen. There's like, no more water left in a second. That was faster than I thought. <laughs> and I've been playing this game for like almost two hours now. And I couldn't figure out why the lake was not really disappearing. But now I managed to figure it out. Look at that! Look at this! Yes! It's almost gone! I'm, I'm starting to cry. That's how beautiful it is. Oh my goodness, guys. The area is almost done. Atlantis is going to become a thing. In the next episode, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to, uh, you know, leave this for the next episode. I guess on the next episode we can we can finally focus on Atlantis. I've been wanting to do that for a long time, and it's finally that time of time. That time of time. Yes. Great England jelly. There's only a little bit of water there. A little bit of water there, which is like disappearing right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wait, I think we have an issue now. There's no water more in the city. Is anyone is anyone starting to complain? I need to pause the game here, guys. I need to pause the game. This is the only water resource, and I just sucked everything out because that's how much water we use. Literally, we sucked that lake out within like three days of this game. Crazy, crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like on the video. And uh, yeah, are you guys ready for episode 18? It's gonna be Atlantis episode. <laughs>